Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those who are new to the channel, return to the channel if you haven't already. Slap that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. There'll also be a, t a vote in the top right left hand corner here, so uh, make sure you vote on that and make sure you support the channel. Right, so first up, I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing. We've got plenty of new subscribers. As soon as I hit 300, I'll announce out who they are as well. So I'd like to thank you all for subscribing. And in this video, I've got done a bit of a pickup. Some of you on the Kirby Fan page already know what it is. And I've probably put it in the title anyway. But this is going to be a total rebuild of a um, Kirby Centria 2. As you know, or previous viewers know, I did have a Centria 2, which was absolutely mint. And I actually sold it on to get my legend so i've got another one and this one wasn't as mint as i as i thought it would be when i went up to pick it up and as you'll see in the video i've gone right down to the armature to give this a full clean and a full service as you'll see in the video it was it was pretty disgusting when i picked it up and so what we'll do is we'll get straight to it right, so what i've done I've, I've got the bag off already the bag was quite disgusting i, I don't know what the guy sucked up with it um, it must have been some moisture of some description. It took a while to get the bag clean. I had to actually soak the fill tube in some hot soapy water and what came out of it was disgusting. And what we'll do is we'll zoom in uh, on this actual Kirby so you can actually see, I mean, it's really pretty nasty in there as well. So we'll just take this hand off. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll get a bowl and I'll throw everything as we strip it down into the bowl. So this, this is going to be a, a video that's sort of ideal for anyone who's bought a Kirby, wants to refurb it. Um, it's going to show you a step-by-step -step guide how to strip it right down. We're going to strip it right down as far as we can go and polish up the armitage as well. So this is, if, you haven't, if you've just bought a Kirby or you're considering buying a Kirby, I highly recommend them anyway. But this is the video you want to watch to strip your Kirby down and then it'll be in two parts, and then on the second part, we'll polish it all up, or have it polished all up, and we'll put it all back together. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in, just so you can physically see how disgusting this Kirby actually is. So I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and get the camera to zoom in. But there you go. It's all brown and gungy in there. It's not well nasty. So, it's probably the worst Kirby I've ever had. I mean, I thought that G6 was bad, but this one, I'm dreading opening it up. Um, the wheels need cleaning, obviously. Zoom back a bit. You can see it's all grimy. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just take the head off as well, or the power nozzle, so you can see how disgusting it is i mean this is a 2013 and the last one i bought was a 2014 and that was absolutely mint as you saw in the video i did but this one is like ugh. all right so we'll just take the head off and you'll be very surprised at the state of it i mean look at that it's just like full I don't know if it's uh, go and put that carpet on there. It's full of nasty gunk. And the brush roll, it's still on number one, but how nasty is that? That is all hair. As like I said, by far. This is the most disgusting Kirby I've ever come across. I mean, how can you expect it to clean with all that on there? Now the guy got it off, I couldn't see any actual carpets in his house, um, he's had it from new apparently, I mean it came with a zip brush, 
um, which is unused, which was great. But yeah, I think it's had a very lack of service in its life. I don't know whose hair this is. I could do washing it and planting it on my head. <laughs> and look, that's probably as much as I've lost in the past 20 years. But this is just going to need a hell of a soak and yeah, I'm, I'm dreading what we're going to find in there and um, what I'm going to do to speed the video up as well is I'm going to take it apart with an impact driver um, normally I do it with a normally I do it with a screwdriver but yeah I'm going to do it with an impact driver just to speed it up Right, so with these new ones as well, I'll just quickly show you. I've only just figured out how to get them out because obviously they're fixed. So you're not putting a little bar out. So what you have to do, is just get a little screwdriver and just push that in a bit and then push it down. And it should pop out. Like so. Just got one out. So you just push that across a bit. So it clears that plastic and then push it out and there we go and they pop out so they do come out a little bit easier but they just get full of hairs and gumph um, I mean I have washed this before I figured out how to get them out so just pull it across push that down until it pops out there push it from the back and then you can prise it and out your wheels come so they're not that hard to get out. Again, just push that across a bit, just so it clears there, and then push it up with your screwdriver to pop it out. All right, and then that, yeah, minus all the hair and gumph, we'll just throw that in the bucket, in the bowl to wash. Get a good soak. All right, so that was that one anyway. So right, we'll jump onto this, and we're going to be using a bladder gun to get it apart. So first up, we'll disconnect the lead, again, if you're not sure, keep your screws separate, so just hold those two, and then what I do is take that one out there, just okay, push forward, pull it down, and keep those I'd normally keep those in there, but that's going to be washed anyway. So we'll just keep those to one side so you know that those three are your two for your lead and the one for there. Alright. What I tend to do then is I keep all these screws together, just the first lot you take out, so there's a little plastic one there, I mean your little grub screw there, and then we push this in, push that back, and that should pop out. So there we go, and out that wiggles so that can go into wash. Alright, and just two back ones. And it's pretty hard to get these mixed up because these two are totally different. And then your front ones, which are there, and are countersunk anyway. So if you keep those four together, again, you won't get them mixed up. Okay, and then we just take that off, and off that comes. Put your plastic strips off, obviously it's still going to be polished up. Go in there, and that can go to be washed as well. Alright, so, looking inside, we might as well take off that, because that's going to be washed. Unhook it there, and out of that comes. Now it's pretty clean inside, it's not that bad. It's just the exterior is just nasty. Okay, so next up, 
take that off. So you need to thick one of those. There you go. Take that off and I'll put that into soak as well. Like I said, it's looking at the inside, it's pretty nasty. Okay, if you haven't took one off art before, again, just keep your bolt separate. Um, with this part here, again, I'll take this up eight because I'm going to lubricate it anyway. So I'm just get another one of those. Okay. And keep all these, keep all these five together so you won't get confused. What I'll do is pull that out. There we go. And that just comes. Now you've got a little bit of rust here, so I'll clean those up with some warm one anyway. Put those there. And then you've just got your four uh, five screws, and these are exactly the same anyway. So it's just four that go in there and then the one for your adjustment which we'll show you when we put it back together okay so that one next up we'll drop the tech drive out first and that is full of crap all the sounds of it so make sure your tech drive is in drive so normally I'd do these by hand but it's just that nasty I want to get it apart really quick Okay, so that now should drop that tech drive, which it is. So again, just move that. So you drop your tech drive out, lift your belt off, and out she comes. So apart from the wheels, that isn't that bad. It looks worse on the outside than it actually is. Okay, now check your belt. So check your belt, there's no cracks. Or you'd have to fit a new drive belt, but I say it's seven years old, or well, six and a half years old, but that drive belt seems fine. Okay, so next up, we'll crack the front open, so we'll take the wheels off. Ugh. Again, you can keep these separate if you want. But so the more, the more you take them apart, the more you get to know where they go. So what I do is I tend to keep these with the little brackets keep them together so you know that they go for there okay pull that off and your spring drops out all right and what we'll do is we'll pop these wheels off in a minute that can go into wash as well so here's the spring that can all be cleaned now I might have to get a normal screwdriver in there because I can't get the head of my thing in there so I'll take those two out and these are just self tappers that fix in the bottom anyway. So those will just drop out. Everything else we should be able to get to with an impact driver. But I couldn't find my proper attachment. There's one. And still in a bit. Just slacking that one off. And what I tend to do is I keep all these with the wheels brackets as well so I know the self tappers go in there and we've got two self tappers here and just there and these as well so what we'll do is we'll crack that front off first and see how disgusting it is in there okay so just make sure it's slotted in properly so you don't round them off now these are pretty easy to remember purely because your top two are the longer ones, so we'll put those with the wheels as well, and then your bottom two are the shorter ones. Okay, if you're not sure, I just play the video back. But when I do the rebuild, you're going to see them anyway going back in. Yuck. And then your self tappers off the bottom arm, no, they're not. That's what was actually rattling inside. So he sucked up some bolts of some description. Those over there out of the way. And what we'll do is just crack this front off now. 
you see how disgusting it really is. I'm not expecting it to be nice in there. Ah, gross. So as you can see, I mean look at all that, I don't know what the ugh, that is. This is all going to have to go into soak. And it smells like, I don't know, coffee or something. You suck something up that's just really sticky and disgusting. And that's what was all in the, in the bag. Alright. So yeah, you're going to need... The fan's a bit chipped, so we'll fit a new fan in there as well. Um, and hopefully get a look in as good as new. So next up. And you can put those just to that side as well. So the two of the washers are coming out the bottom. Okay, now there's no earth strap in these because you haven't got the aluminium casing like you normally have in the earlier models. side that should be free and then it's just a case of unplugging your light now if you get a tiny slide screwdriver you should be able to unhook that without disturbing any of that motor for now if not if you can't it's just a case of undoing the bush so you can pop that out The armitage doesn't look too bad in this one, from what I can see. So I'll we'll just take that out. See how much life's left in these bushes. We'll probably fit some new ones anyway. Alright. Yeah, they don't look too bad. So if you drop that down out of the way, then you can get in to literally pull that lead out. Okay. So we'll put that to one side for now until we clean it. Take it apart, clean that. And to that, this now should pull out once we move this. So, and it's weird because in these, they seem to have kept the exhaust colour from the old G7s. You'd have thought they put a black one in, but they haven't. So, pull that out, that can go into wash. Your motor then should lift out, like so. We're going to break this motor down, but as you can see, this is just like uh, disgusting. So what we'll do is we'll put that into wash as well. Um, obviously that'll pop out, so I'm not trying to pop that out now. There we go. Surprised that came out with all the gump that's in there. But all this can go into soak. So if you've got a bowl, just throw it all in a bowl. Wheels, so we'll take these back wheels off as well. So if you just get a flat screwdriver through the back and you can literally pop the hub cap off. I'm going to wash. And the same with this one. Right. Then all we need is our circuit remover. So make sure you put the circlets where you're not going to lose them. So keep those circlips somewhere nice and safe. There's one for that wheel, one for this wheel. And off that comes. And pull that off. Eight on today would be nice. Okay, and then pull that off. Okay, next up, 
you've got this one screw here that's got a little washer on it and that's going to take out your drive adjustment okay so if you keep that with your other three just over there lift that up and out it comes okay and all that can go into wash as well now it doesn't look like there's any movement there a little bit of a gap so that could cause issues further down the line so what I'll do is with these what I normally do is get them on a probably a hard piece of wood like a um, it's like on a hard piece of wood so like I've got hardwood coasters that are made and bamboo so I'll just sit there on a piece of bamboo because it's the right height off the floor so this doesn't get damaged and then I normally just smack that down with a sense punch just to close that gap up a bit just so it doesn't move so that can all can go into wash okay and um, yeah so can that no grease on that and this should come out as well but you can hear it's all stuck in because of whatever it sucks up that is just they're all disgusting all right, we've got our bumper. So we'll take our bumper off. That's all going to go into soak. We'll take out, take off that. Okay, you can keep these separate if you want. So that can go into wash. And come out. Okay, so this wash, this head's going to go into wash. So the only thing we have to take out is the brush roll sensor, which is that little flip screw there. And we'll give that a clean. But then all this can go soak in some hot soapy water. Yuck. And we'll give that a bit of a clean as well. So put that over there. So that is all that. Now if you remember these wheels, if you haven't watched my previous episodes, these wheels, all we do is we get our little Torx holder, okay, and we just push, that's just got a hole in the end, and we just push these out, like so, like so. If only you've got a little hole, it sort of holds it and it doesn't bend it. So it pushes it out just enough so it doesn't damage it. That's two. Missed the middle one. Just there. Three. And then the final one. Number four. So that all comes out, and as you can see, it's not damaged. So that can go in the wash. Okay, so call us. Do that. Put them to one side. And that goes in the wash as well. Same with this side. So you'll fill the whole sort of slot over it slightly and then push but it's not enough to bend it or damage it. Three and the final one is four. Okay and that you can see that that's what size I use just to pop those out okay so that can go to wash and take that one out okay so we'll just pull all those into soak and this one as well so 
Antonio screams from the lives. And this will pop out as well. Just bear in mind you've got the LED bulb on this one as well. Which is normally slotted into the top of this. That's one. Okay. What you can do, you can cut this cable toy and you just thread those through. It will make life a bit easier. So what we'll do is just do that. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll see just cable cut this cable toy, don't cut through your wires. You can always cable toy back on after. Just makes the life a little bit easier for pushing those wires through there. There you want it's not clipped in. And you can keep the sheath on there as well. I normally keep the sheath on just to get those through. So and that will give you the adjustment you need to pull this out. So that comes out like so. Okay. As you can see you've got your LED bulbs so don't damage it. But all <coughs> All we're going to do, <coughs> okay, as you can see, we've got an LED bulb, and it's just literally that clip there that holds it. So pull that with your nail, just lift the end, and then put your nail there and lift the end, and it should pop out. Okay, one more do is just push it down the screwdriver. There we go. Lift, there we go, and then push that side down as we're trying to snap them off. There we go, now that comes so that can go into wash as well. All right, then this bit here just literally pulls off, like so, and then your light just pops out there. Your light cover pops out, so push at the bottom, now that comes, and you can take that off and you can wash that as well. So, we've got quite a bit to wash, all this can be polished up. Put that to one side and polished. And we'll come back and start stripping this motor down. So what I'm gonna do is just release the fan. Definitely put a new one on it because this is just disgusting. Yeah. Maybe you hold your armitage. Should be able to twist that off. Back and forth, and off it comes. Once you get it on a roll, it should just pull and turn. So there we go, just grab the thin. Judging from this has obviously never been serviced since he bought it. Oh, it stinks. It smells. It smells like marmot really badly. So I reckon that's what all that gump was, unless he was eating a marmot sandwich or a vegemite as they call it here. The fan's got a few chips from those bolts. We'll stick a new fan in it anyway. And um, we need to clean that off. So just push that off. Okay. Can use a little paintbrush, which is what I normally use, but scrubbing brush was at hand. Okay, just make sure you're wearing a mask when you do it. That can all come off, that can be cleaned back. Okay, and then what I'll do so I'll back all this up in a minute. Let's get a devil wipe. 
obviously leave that centre thing in at the moment because you don't want to get any dell in there. We're going to undo all this anyway. To take out that bush, but that is rank. Absolutely disgusting. Yuck. So just under this power switch, take this power switch off. And that's just one little tiny Phillips screw just at the top there. So we'll just undo this power switch, just that little Phillips screw. Like so and slot that off. Okay, you can disconnect everything if you want. I'm not gonna bother, I'm gonna just blow it all out. I can still release the armitage with that in there anyway. So to release the armitage put that little screw back in so we don't lose it. And all we need is our circuit remover. Just to remove that circuit. Okay, and these are the same size circuit clips that water on your wheels anyway. Pull that off. Okay. Now, that bearing out. And we're going to do here. Side. The only thing I suggest is when you take this out, do it that way because there's a little spring washer in here and you want to make sure that you put it back on the same way. So take that bearing off first. Okay, let's pull this out. It should just pop out. It's not coming. There we go. Okay, so push it down, take it out slowly. That way you can see which way that goes back on. Okay. So with that, you've got the flat spots, flat, flat spots facing up, and that's the way it will go back in. Okay. So what we'll do is just clean this armitage up and we'll get that and we'll give it a good blow out with the compressor. This back bearing is running free, that's fine. No movement in it. Okay. And the front bearing is the same. But these are the bearings I've got to change in my G4. So I have to get a um, bearing puller to pull it off from my G4. And the front one, I'm presuming that little spring clip just changes. Or well, you can compile this complete system anyway as one complete piece. So I'll probably just order a complete piece just to pop back on for my G4. Now what I do to clean this is just get a bit of a dental wipe. Just to get that nice and clean. So you just make sure it's going to be nice and dry before we put it back together. This is just your exhaust fan. Okay. Like that. Okay, and I've polished all that up as well. And that will be ready to go back together. And we'll just blow this one out. 
Right, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, as I said, it would be ideal for anyone who's bought a new Kirby, um, second-hand Kirby, off a from a thrift store or buy, swap, and sell um, marketplace. So it's ideal for that. Um, so you can actually see how to service it and how to strip it all the way down and get it clean and back to as new a condition as you can. I mean, this Kirby's going to run for at least another 20, 20 plus years um, from what I can see. So again, if you join the content, do us a big favour, if you haven't already, slap the subscribe button, ding the bell for notifications, make sure you don't forget to vote and comment down below and give us a big thumbs up. I will reply to the comments. If I like what you comment, they'll actually pin it to the top of the video. And what I'll do is I'll catch you in the next one.